Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, the topic is going to be this guy right here, Nick Walker, and his future plans. So yesterday, he made an Instagram post in which he announced that his next show is gonna be the New York Pro in 15 weeks from now. So, no, he is not jumping into the Arnold Classic in 4 weeks. No, no, he is not gonna rush things, he is not gonna risk losing another Arnold, He's gonna take his time and he's gonna play it safe and he's gonna try and win another New York Pro title. Anyways, let's hear exactly what he has to say because some parts of his video are very interesting. There is no Arnold for me. Um, it's just, that's just too soon. Um, you know, we're, it's almost four weeks out. It's just, I don't feel uh, ready enough for that. So he addresses the rumors of him jumping into the Arnold Classic because a lot of people have been speculating that. We were all kind of hoping for it, but no, no, he's definitely not doing it. Why? Because it's too soon. It's almost four weeks out and he's not feeling ready for it. But take a look at his physique update from a couple of days ago. I mean, does this look like he can't be ready in four and a half weeks? I don't think so. I really don't think so. And I'm talking strictly conditioning wise, so he could be ready in four and a half weeks, no doubt. But maybe he doesn't feel mentally ready, maybe it's mainly because of his hamstring. If he starts pushing things and, you know, drying out so fast, maybe he's afraid of an injury, so he doesn't want to start a prep when he doesn't feel completely confident that his training can't be at 100%. And it's his legs we're talking about, it's not his bicep or something like that, a strong body part, it's his legs which are his weakest body part, I mean his hamstrings are probably his one of his strongest body parts, but it's still legs, it's all connected, he can't squat, he can't do squatting or heavy leg pressing movements, and if he can't train his quads as heavy, as hard as he needs to, his legs are gonna probably look flat once he diets down and he would probably lose the title again for the same reason and now he has not only Samson but Hari Chopin as well. So it definitely doesn't make sense for Nick to do the Arnold Classic at this point. And there is no invite um, and honestly i rather earn my qualification, you know? I'm okay with that, i rather earn my qualification all right, this part was interesting. There is no special invite. He would rather earn his spot at the Mr. Olympia, and he has no problem with that. Did he just call out Derek Lansford? I mean, he didn't call him out by name, but we all know how Derek got to the Mr. Olympia stage. He got a special invite. He never, ever won a pro show in the Open division. Yes, he won the 212 Olympia, but rules are rules, he did not qualify himself for the Mr. Olympia Open. I mean, Nick was third at the Mr. Olympia. I would say that's a bigger success than winning a 212 Olympia, at least in my eyes. I don't know what you guys think about it. But in any case, third place at the Mr. Olympia at one point does not automatically qualify you for life. And winning a Mr. Olympia in classic physique, in men's physique or in 212 does not qualify you for the Open Olympia. So what Derek did is he asked for a special invite. He simply didn't want to go through trouble of competing twice in a year. He wanted to show up at the Mr. Olympia completely fresh, which is definitely an ideal case scenario. And you know, he got a special invite, he asked for it, they gave it to him, and it worked for him. He was second at his first Mr. Olympia, and then the next year he also had an entire year to improve and to come in fresh, and he won. I mean, it definitely was a good, a smart strategy, it worked, obviously, he won the Mr. Olympia, but maybe the question is, was it fair? Well, that's open for debate, I guess, but one thing is for sure, we can see clearly what kind of mentality these two guys have, Nick Walker and Derek Lansford. Derek was okay with choosing an easier path, definitely a path of less resistance, and Nick... He would rather, like he says, he would rather earn his qualification. And that's just one of the reasons why I like this guy so much. I'm a big fan of Nick Walker because of his mentality. He doesn't have a problem with competing twice and learning again his spot at the Mr. Olympia. Even though he probably earned it, 
if we take a look at how the other guys are getting their special invites, like Rami, like Derek, I would say Nick Walker earned it, but he wants to earn it officially. He wants to do it the right way. Now, in the comment section, you can see the top comment is from Derek Lansford. I don't know if he felt called out and he wanted to at least comment something to show that he doesn't feel like he was called out. So he comments, but he comments something that has nothing to do with him, with special invite, with earning a qualification. He talks about who's going to compete at the New York, like Blessing of Audibu or Sergio Oliva. You know, Blessing of Audibu at, at the New York Pro. I mean, at this point, we all know that whatever Blessing was talking against Nick was all just, you know, for the clout. Like, he has nothing. He's not on the level of Nick Walker, like he was in a fourth call out when Nick was third at the Mr. Olympia, and nobody is talking about that rivalry, quote unquote, anymore. And I'm sure Derek knows it. I don't know why he commented this. I guess it was the first thing that came to his mind. Uh, so he just wanted to say something to seem like he's okay with, with that he's happy that Nick is competing, that he doesn't feel called out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he felt like that because, you know. They are right now in about similar, almost the same situation, and they are like at the same level of a competitor pretty much. Um, Nick Walker can win the Mr. Olympia this year, it's, it's very, very possible, we'll see. But he could have gotten the special invite. If he asked for it, I'm sure they would give it to him, but he decided to earn it. Like he says, he's okay with earning it, and Derek wasn't. And once I earn that qualification, I am going to win and come back strong, better than what I was going to be last year, and get the Mr. Olympia title. That's how this is going to go. All right, so once I earn that Mr. Olympia qualification, I will come back and win the Mr. Olympia title. I will beat Derek Lansford, basically, and take his title away from him. So he didn't say anything directly to Derek Lunsford, but it's all concerning Derek. I mean, the second part where he says he's going to win the Mr. Olympia title, that has nothing to do with Derek. He just happened to have won the Mr. Olympia last. Nick was always saying he was going to win the Mr. Olympia. But the part where he says, once I earn, once I properly get my Mr. Olympia qualification, I will win the Mr. Olympia title. So basically what he's saying is, He's gonna be a bigger champion than Derek if he wins because he earned his qualification the proper way, the right way. And that way is gonna be by winning the New York Pro. That being said, I think two of these is better than one. I'll see everybody at the New York Pro. Y'all better be ready for it, because you know I will be. All right, so it's going to be the New York Pro, like I said, in 15 and a half weeks from now, which is definitely more than enough time for Nick to prepare properly. Now, this is awesome news to hear that he's going to compete twice this year. And uh, it's bad news for Tony Burton, for example, who won the New York Pro last year, and he was prepping to defend his title and I'm sure he wasn't really happy when he heard this news that Nick Walker is in. And uh, there is no chance of Tony Burton beating Nick Walker. He's probably going to be in a very strong second spot. But to win that title? No, no. Against Nick Walker, I, don't, I definitely don't see that happening. So bad news for Tony Burton and good news for us bodybuilding fans. Now, as far as choosing that exact show, it makes a lot of sense because it was always the third strongest show, bodybuilding show in the world, especially back in the day when it was called the Night of Champions. Lately, for the past couple of years, it really hasn't been that strong, right? The level of competition, the competitors weren't exactly the highest level. I would definitely say that Arnold Classic UK right now is probably the third strongest bodybuilding show in the world, maybe even Arnold Brazil, but New York Pro, not really, but it ha does have a very sounding name, and this year they increased the prize money, instead of $10,000, it's $20,000, so that's probably why New York Pro wasn't really that tough for the past couple of years, because the prize money is just as much as any other regular pro show, 
but this year they increased the prize money to 20k which is nothing compared to Arnold or Olympia or even Arnold UK. Arnold UK is $150,000 and New York is now 20k plus a $5,000 ring. So yeah, it makes more sense for Nick to do the New York Pro than to do a regular pro show because it's more money and it's definitely a more sounding title and he already won once, so it would be cool to have two New York Pro titles and I think it doesn't really make a difference whether he's gonna do the New York Pro or any other show in the year because he's gonna win any of them aside from Arnold Classic UK and of course Arnold Ohio because Samson and Hadi are doing both of those shows as far as everything else in a year it will be all the same for Nick, he would win all those shows and New York Pro was his first pro show that he won and I guess you could say it was his real pro debut because his actual pro debut was Chicago Pro a couple of weeks after he turned pro so his actual pro debut after a short off season was New York Pro where he won and he's going back over there and he's gonna win it again easily I have no doubt and then he's gonna go to the Mr. Olympia can he win the Mr. Olympia? I think it is very very possible it seems like if he showed up on that stage last year with the shape he was in at two weeks out I think he would have won the Mr. Olympia 2023 but we'll see how much progress is Derek gonna make in another year or how much can Samson actually improve his conditioning or if Hade is gonna grow even more or is somebody else like I don't know Exila or Horse MD or some of the other new guys are gonna make a lot of progress and you know surpass these guys or maybe like Brandon Curry is gonna come back or William Bonac but I mean in all likeliness uh, Nick Walker, Derek Lansford, Samson Dowd and Harry Chubben are gonna be your top four at the Mr. Olympia this year who's gonna end up on top I have no idea honestly anything is possible it could be Nick Walker and he's going to get there by winning a regular pro show by earning his qualification and that show is New York Pro in the comment section down below guys tell me what do you think and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to this channel guys please click that subscribe button and thank you so much guys for watching see you soon in one of the next videos all the best guys and bye bye